Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a quick folk art girl face. I get requested this a lot. I know I'm doing my odd girls, which is kind of a, you know, take on a folk art face. Um, but let me show you very easily for beginners to start out. So I'm, I just have a piece of paper here. This is just printer paper. You can use mixed media paper, Bristol, watercolor paper, uh, tracing paper, whatever you have, whatever you have. This is just printer paper. And I'm showing you the, on this for the beginners. So what I like to do is I'm going to do the hair first. I think that's the easiest. Now, because I'm a little quirky and a little weird and a little, I, I always draw slanted because of the way I have to hold my hands because of the RA and fibro and whatnot. So bear with me. Tweak it if, if you have to. But that's why I love odd girls because it doesn't matter. So for the hair, let's start with the hair. And I'm going to start right up here. And I'm going to make bangs because I think bangs... Things are easy. You could do long hair. It doesn't matter. So I'm going straight. I'm going to go straight across like this. Very simple. No big deal. Um, in these bangs, now you can see my line's a little off. You can measure it. You can make sure it's straight. You know, it's your gig. Um, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to take this down. And I'm going to kind of do like this. Okay. Now maybe I want a little fatter of a face. Let's see. Because my face is fat. Let's see, maybe I'll go a little bit more. You make it as long as, you know, as you want. There we go. I'm just going to kind of bring it here. And so this is my bang. So then I'm going to start doing like this. I'm going to go right here as the top of the head. You see? Very simple. This is very loose, as I am. <laughs> and then just kind of make it go down in a point or whatever kind of thing you want. This is a little bigger than, you know, you might want to do or just start out, I, I suggest. And just make it round enough. Little scribbles won't hurt you. And then I'm going to connect this. So this is the hair. So, you know, for the face, I just kind of go down and then up. All this can be adjusted. And then I'm just going to do the neck. And I'm doing it bigger so you guys can see it. And I think you should start bigger anyway. So I folded this paper in half, and the reason I did that was so I can see where I want to put the uh, nose. So you can see the line, and all I'm doing for the nose is, and you can go lower if you want. I'm just going right here just to show you. A little bit bigger of a nose. And right here, I'm going to do the lips. And I just kind of do the same kind of thing, up and down, up and down. And I suggest you draw bigger when you're starting. I just think that it, and you can put your line and make sure it's straight or whatever way you want it. Um, you can always go back and fix everything, right? You're just kind of putting the, the lines in. And now the eyes. So with the eyes, I'm going to start, um, I want, you want them pretty low. Uh, the bangs are here, so I'm going to do the eyes right, literally, maybe, what is that, like an inch? I'm just going to mark it a little bit, an inch off that half line. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do a circle. My dog's looking at my foot. I'm going to do a circle, like a U, just like this. And I'm going to do it here, too. And you can see, not even. If you want it to be even, by all means, take something that, you know, uh, you want to even it with, you know, that you want to put the width. I don't think I have any of my paper here. Let's see, let's see, let's see real quick. Mm, mm, mm. I know this one's this one's up too far. I don't want it that off, but I don't want it that on. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna kind of wing it, and you make your circle. And then I'm gonna go in for my eye, so I'm just going in like this. And you see how it starts to come together? Again, you can play once you get the main in. Now you can leave it like that. You don't have to play around with it. Um, but I think I'm going to, you can close it. You could take, you know, the eyes down this way. Make it like that. I like to do eyelids, so, see, eyelid, eyelid, and then eyebrow. You can just do a quick line across if you want. You don't even, you know, you don't have to think about it too much. And, of course, you could do your you know, eyelashes and all that kind of thing. Not going to do that now. 
And then you can see the eyes. So I'm just going to go a little. I'm going to put in the pupils and just half circles. I like to color them in just so I can get an idea if they're the shape I want. Same thing here. And look at that, what we have so far. Very simple. Now, if I could find my good, uh, where's my good eraser? Here it is. I'm going to erase some of the, now I did not put any lines here. I did not put, you know, the traditional line going down. I, I didn't do that because I don't want to do that. I just want to draw and have fun. So I know the hair. I want to get rid of these lines here that, you know, were just my sketchy lines. Just so I keep the base of, and knock all my water over. Okay. So now I can go back in and draw a little more certain exactly what I'm looking for. Right? Make it up like that doesn't matter. Just kind of doing a solid line. Look, kind of looks like a helmet, right? You can go back and check that. It's no big deal. Let's give her some bangs. I like to kind of go in and give her some. There we go. And see how I would give her some bangs? And I erase those lines, obviously, because that's where the part's going to be. Not here. Don't erase those. <laughs> that's, that's my brain not working. You see how we have that? And now we have bangs. So now you look at her and you're like, what do I want to do now? Well, you know, you can go in now and you can you can say the nose is a bit big. Well, I have a big nose, but let's make it a little smaller so we can make it a little smaller. Now I do this nose and tell you guys all the time when you're starting out drawing um, any kind of folk art girl or whatever, I do this kind of nose um, rather than having to worry about how uh, to do a real nose, it's up to you. Um, I can do that in another video. And the mouth, I'm going to erase. You don't have to, you can keep your mouth. But what I'm going to do is basically keep the mouth, but I'm going to make this lippy thing right here a little smaller. I'm going to try to mimic the nose a little bit. And then go down here. Give her a little little up in her lips. Kind of go like that. You can see it's kind of that way. I don't care. And then I like to kind of make it a little smaller here. Sometimes I like to do like the Betty Boop with the heart. It's up to you. Shout out to Maggie Betty Boop. Okay, so there we go. And you see? And then you can go back in and, you know, kind of change things if you want it a little bigger, a little better. doesn't matter. But what I'm going to do now, very quickly, let me check how much time I have left. Let me see. Okay. So you see, very, very quick. Very big, very quick. No big deal. So I'm going to do it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker. And use a permanent marker, Sharpie, Bic, Rose Art, I don't know if Rose Art are, uh, what are they called, Copic, uh, Faber-Castell, whatever, whatever you have that's permanent. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to trace what I already did or outline. And I'm going to do my best, well, I'm going to do my best to find a marker that works because I destroyed all my markers. Oh, I need more markers. I go through them like crazy. Come on now. I just put a marker with all my markers. Will you work? Okay, I think this might work. So let's try again, shall we? And I'm going in and I'm just tracing it. Not worrying too much because it's like, you know, I have that line already there and I'm just doing my best. If it's not right on the point, who cares? Going in, doing my eye. Doing my pupil, doing my line, my line. Let's do some lines. There we go. Doing the same thing over here. You can see nothing's perfect. Don't care. 
I can see this pupil is a little uh, smaller than this one, so I can always go back in with my marker and make it bigger. And that's why I like to color whatever color marker you're using, um, or pen, whatever you're using. And this is why I call them odd girls, because I'm not worrying that they're spot on. Sometimes when I do the eyes, I'll do the, um, what's it called? Let's go here a little bit more. I'll make the eyes different shapes. Some are oval, some are round, it doesn't matter. And then let's make this here. And then we'll go here for the eyebrow, here for the eyebrow. Look at that. And then we'll go here, trace this. And then let's go in here. You can add as many parts as you want in there. Vocalic. And then you can trace very, look at that, and then the neck. Now do you know what we're going to do? We're going to erase. Woo -hoo. So I have my eraser. I like using um, bigger erasers just because it's easier on your hands and that kind of thing. But of course, use whatever you have. I'm going to start with the lips. And go to the eyes. the lines. I think you get the gist of it. And then you have a very quick face. And then you can paint it. Very simple. Not that you know, not that hard. And like I said, you don't have to change anything if you don't want. Now I can go in and I can um, let's do a different color. Let's do green or something. Green. We can go in and then you can paint the eyes. I'm using a marker. Markers are fun. Uh, colored pencils are fun. They're all fun. Fun, fun, fun. We could do purple lips if we want. Just again, you can use paint. Anything you have. Crayola crowns? Definitely. Markers? Yeah. If you have Crayola, if the kids have Crayola, sit and have a blast with them and play. And if you don't have kids and you have Crayola, you're like me. I do too. I have the markers and the colored pencils and everything I use. Now understand that you're using printer paper, uh, so when you're using marker or anything wet on there, it can make it peel a little bit up. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, you know, just be careful. You don't want to soak the soak it. So this will be a little bit of eyeshadow. We'll do a little gold. You don't have to. You can just trace the uh, eyelid. Right, a little gold. Now you can see how I screwed that up a little bit, but that's okay. When I color in her face, that's what I'll do. I mean, and that's it. And like I said, then you color in her hair, and you're all done. I don't know if I can color her hair, and I don't know what colors I have. Okay, let's just do, let's do gold. Why not? Just so you can have an idea. No, 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 no. Do those parts after. Since we'll need a little bit more attention and a little bit more patience. I could just sit here and color all day. It's awful. I'm trying to do it quickly is hard. <laughs> I think you get my drift though. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? All right. Can you see them? You just kind of go in. And if we were going to use, um, do highlights and you know shading and all that of course underneath the bangs that would be you know a little bit uh, shaded as well there you go there you go very simple very good very done so if you guys follow this 
and uh, do your own little folk art girl. Please tag me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. All my information is down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below this video. And click the little bell next to it so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And if you like this, give me a like. I really appreciate it. Share me all over the internet if you wouldn't mind. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend a little time with me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.